What's up, Onlook squad? Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can import your favorite Tailwind templates inside of Onlook so that you can use Onlook's visual editor to modify, build, and customize your React app, or use the templates to build alongside Onlook's AI. We'll do this in three steps. In step one, we'll find a template and upload it to Onlook using our new upload feature. In step two, we'll then customize the template. Go ahead and change some of the headings, titles, adjust it to fit our needs. And then finally in step three, we publish our new project to the web. All of this inside of Onlook using our visual editor to modify our Tailwind styles and React app, as well as Onlook's AI. Let's dive in. Let's kick things off with step one, finding and importing a template. Now for us today, we're going to be using Shad CN blocks. Shad CN blocks is an awesome, very well-built, well-optimized library of templates. And they work particularly well with Onlook because we're, they're built using the same stack that we optimized for. That is essentially Tailwind for the styling, React as a base, built with Next, and ShadCN for the components. Now, ShadCN Blocks has literally hundreds and hundreds of different templates that you can use. What we'll be going through in the video today is their full stack or full app templates, which will give us a completed and well-rounded web app to get started with. Let's go with their Sonic template, which we can see here, which is the one that they've just released. I like this one because it's got a blog attached to it as well. And uh, who doesn't want a one-click import blog ready to roll? Uh, so go ahead, find the template that you want to use, and then just download the next JS package. I've already downloaded it, so we can skip that. We'll then jump into uploading. Now, once you've got that done, head over to Onlook's web editor. And this time, instead of building something directly from the prompt box, we're gonna click on our projects in the top right. From here, we're gonna start a new project and we're going to import the project. Now this will reveal our new import feature. You can see GitHub is coming soon as well. So just go ahead and import the file or the folder that you just downloaded from the template library and then finish the setup. Now, the upload process will take a couple of minutes. In the background, Onlook is scanning through everything that you're uploading, figuring out what does what, how to map it and build it inside of its virtual environment, and essentially give you the tools to be able to just select an element on the page visually, and then for Onlook to automatically know, okay, I know exactly where in the code this element the user has selected is and how to change it. So we'll cut the video short, we'll resume it as soon as the file has completed its upload. And there we have it. Phase one is complete. We've found a template that's compatible. We've uploaded the template and you can now see it live in preview here in Onlook. Now, if we play around with the editor a little bit to see how it all works, you can see if I hover over any of the elements or the items on the website, the web app, you'll be able to select them and directly edit or interact or customize them. If I jump over to the preview tab, I can continue to scroll through my site. Here. You can see this template had a light and dark mode. So we're gonna test that. Looks like it's working well. Nice. And if I jump back over to the design tab, I can also add additional windows. If I wanted to have, say, a mobile view at the same time, let's change this one to portrait and set the width to, let's just set it to 600. For now, that will give us a nice mobile and desktop view. Now, for those that have used Figma or any of your other design tools, the canvas works the exact same way. You can spacebar and drag, middle mouse and drag, control or command and scroll to zoom. And you can expand these windows just by grabbing the edge and pulling in the direction that you want. Okay, so I've now got my site app here inside. And look, I wanna start making some changes. How do I do that? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off by changing this title here. So let's just select it. I'm gonna double click on it. It will show us a quick preview text. And I'm just gonna rewrite this as hello world. Click out, see it's now updated in real time. And let's do another quick change. I don't know, let's say we wanted to change the color of this text. Again, I can just select it and then to hover over the text color here, add a custom color, I can drag it to any color I want. Say put it bright red, we would. Uh, and finally, if I wanted to make some of the changes directly in the code, I can do so as well, just by selecting the element that I wanna change. Click on the code tab, you'll see it will automatically highlight the area of the code that you've selected on the canvas. If I jump over to this section here, for example, see it highlights the section there. Now, the last thing I wanna change on this page is actually the nav bar up here. You can see if I select these, actually all labels like dynamic links so alex how do you change them you might be asking well if you just scroll back up you'll see we've got this constant items at the top and these are actually each of links so to modify these i'm just going to grab one and all you need to do is just copy it edit it change it add a new line i'm just going to add another link for the purpose of this demo and let's just call this url demo and it will go to a page that we call demo uh, command or control s to save and then if i exit out of that I go back and have a look at our page. You can see 
demo has been added, our new text has been updated. If I jump to the preview mode and have a look at that on mobile as well, see, we can see that it's also working and I've got my new demo link on mobile too. And still dark mode is working and syncing very well on the site. Perfect. Now, the last little piece that I wanna edit while I'm here is I just wanna take a quick look at how to modify the blog post. Now, jumping into our code editor here, we can see we've got a folder called blog. If I click on that, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six blog posts, and they all correspond to the post that we've got here. Great, let's create a new one. Let's create a new one. I'm just going to right click on the folder, new file. Let's just call this one test-test.mdx because it's a markdown file, create that. And all I'm gonna do from here is navigate to one of the existing blog post pages. I'm just gonna copy everything that's in here. That way I've got all the structure pre-done. I'm gonna jump back into the new test page that we created, and paste that one in here. And we're just gonna scroll all the way back to the title. We're gonna give it a new name so that we know, so we can see the blog post that we've edited. So it's just, again, call this one test blog. All the data, I think we can leave pretty much the same. Let's just change the date on here just to make it a bit more visible. I'll leave the featured image and stuff the same, and then command S, control S to save. If we jump back over to our preview here and give the page a quick refresh, we will now see our latest blog post has been created. You can see if we click on that and open it up, it then has all the content that we pasted in that we copied from the other post. And that pretty much wraps up step two, editing your template with Onlook. Now as a final step, we want to publish our new project. Now typically publishing React apps can be somewhat difficult, made it super, like so simple with Onlook. All you need to do is jump over and click the publish tab. You can link to a custom domain if you want to link to a custom domain. If you want to just publish directly to an Onlook domain, that's free. You can do so here. Just click on publish, create the domain, publish the site, take a couple of minutes, and then you are good to go. And that is how you can import Tailwind-based templates inside of Onlook's visual editor. Now in this video, we covered three core steps. As a quick recap, we first found a template that was compatible with Onlook. So those are React-based, Next.js, Tailwind styling, and ShadCN components. We imported and uploaded the project inside of Onlook. We made some changes to that template. So we did everything from changing the text color, its content, adding additional menu items with dynamic items, even adding an additional blog item. And as a final step, we then published our project to the web simply by clicking the little publish button. That's all we've got for the video today. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I'd also like to invite you to join our community over on Discord. Links are also down below. We have thousands of other builders building all sorts of really cool creative projects inside of Onlook. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.